Hello, and thank you for joining me. Hopefully, most of you will recognize that that prayer isn't for real. It's not something that I believe or endorse. Unfortunately, there are many Christians who actually do believe those things. They believe they can live as the world with one foot in the church, one foot in the world, and still be raptured prior to the Great Tribulation period. Many Christians believe this. In fact, I recently posted a video where I explained that the church is actually the one who is responsible for the Great Tribulation period. I explained in that video that it is Christians who have denied the one true Christ by their actions, that they confess Him as their Lord, but they don't obey Him. It is these Christians who are actually responsible for the Great Tribulation coming upon the world. Because if the number of people claiming to be Christian were actually Christian, then there's no way God would have a problem with the world. There's no way that He would bring about the Great Tribulation. For God would be very happy if those people who claim to be Christians were actually followers of Christ and actually had a relationship with Christ. Now, the reason the Great Tribulation period happens is because of the condition of the church. It is wicked. It is every bit the prostitute that the nation of Israel was when God condemned it. So I hope you will take the time to watch that video if you haven't watched it. And if you read the comments, you will see why it is I am making this video. Because in the comment section, there was one particular so-called Christian who said that Christians are not responsible for the tribulation period and that they will be raptured. And I had a, or I went into the reasons why this isn't the case. And we got into a discussion about what is a Christian and what isn't and the commandments that we have to keep. Now, he told me that a true Christian will keep the commandments of God. But then, when I pressed him for exactly what he believed were the commandments of God, he told me that it doesn't matter whether or what day we keep the Sabbath. According to him, Sunday is the seventh day of the week, that the first day of the week is Monday, and that because Sunday is actually the seventh day of the week, those people who keep Sunday as the Sabbath are keeping the seventh day Sabbath. He also told me that it doesn't matter if you divorce and then remarry. According to him, that's not considered adultery by Christ. Adultery is only if you're married and you have an affair with someone outside of the marriage. So you see, my brothers and sisters, there are many people who don't believe they are living in sin when in fact they are. They don't understand scripture. And so they actually do believe this sinner's prayer that I just said. There are many who believe that they are not sinners, that they aren't breaking God's commandments even though they are. Then there are others who don't believe it's important. They believe that they must sin, will sin, and have no choice but to sin. They believe that the church is made up of sinners, is supposed to be made up of sinners rather than saints. That sinners, as long as they confess Jesus as their Lord, actually are saints. There are many Christians who believe this. And so there are Christians who in fact believe the prayer that I just showed you. Many of them won't want to admit it, but it is the case. So my brothers and sisters, it's important we understand that the Great Tribulation period is going to be for everyone. Consider this, we are going to need true Christians, true believers in Christ to help others through the tribulation period. We are going to need those people. If all of these Christians, if all of the true believers, those people who really have faith in Christ being the Son of God and believe that we must live righteous lives, if all of those people were raptured, who then would there be to lead the church? My brothers and sisters, we shouldn't be preparing people to be raptured away. Rather, we should be preparing people to be leaders during the time of the Great Tribulation period. 
for we are going to need them. We shouldn't even be praying that we would be raptured away. We should be praying for the strength and the wisdom so that we can be a light and that we can guide people during the tribulation period. Rather than asking God to take us out, rather than asking God to save us from the time of testing, we should be asking Him for strength and for wisdom, for knowledge to work through the tribulation period, not only for our sake, but for the sake of others. That is the mark of a true Christian. Someone who is willing to sacrifice himself. Someone who is willing to suffer for others. To be a leader for others. To help them when their faith will start to fade during the time of testing. So we need true Christians for this period that we are about to enter into. We need to stop telling people that they are going to be raptured away because when they are not and when they have to go through the time of testing, many of them will lose faith because they will lose faith in those who were teaching them. They will say, they weren't men of God. There are no men of God. This is just a bad period there, and there is no God. Many will lose faith because they are not prepared to go through this time of testing that is coming upon us. So, my brothers and sisters, we need to run from people like John MacArthur. We need to run from anyone who is not being guided by the Holy Spirit. And we know they are not being guided by the Holy Spirit if they are teaching false doctrine, if they are teaching the lies of Satan. And this idea of a pre-tribulation rapture is a lie of Satan. All right, as always, I look forward to the comments and messages. Till next time, peace and blessings.